Okay, welcome back, everybody. I know where I'm supposed to go to find Draga Anua. This is a, a tricky thing that I completely forgot about. It's only in Modernui 1.5. You see that there's a set of stairs up here near the near the entrance. Now, if you follow up here in this section, you will find Draga Anua right up here. So this is something I completely forgot, and uh, this is where this is where you find him. Hello. How's it going? Hail, adventure. Do you come up here often? Yes, I find it very pleasant to look out over the desert. It's comforting to know that no matter what happens, the sun will still rise and set no sooner or later than it did on the previous day. Awesome. Have you seen Pohatu recently? Actually, he just left. Now that Makuta has been defeated, he has been visiting the village more frequently. Sometimes he even jumps in the Koli ring with the Matorn. Huh. I found that the only way for it to be even remotely fair is to make it into a Toe versus All match. He normally still wins because nobody can match his speed. All the same, it makes a very interesting and fun match to watch. Well, that's cool. I have a special message for you. <clears throat> with the Borok escape, it could be very bad for us. Thank you for showing this to me, Chronicler. Uh, what will you do about the Borok? I will meet with Vukama as soon as I can. Hopefully this issue can be dealt with before any Borok get out. Okay, see you, man. Goodbye, Chronicler. Okay, that was good. Now, I believe we only have one Draga left to talk to, and that is Draga Nuju, who we're going to have to track down in Kokoro. Which is quite a ways. <laughs> we have to go all the way back to Takoru and then take the um, zip line up to Kokoru. Okay. Hello there. No. Oh, dang it. Arr. I did not intend to go back to Pokwahi. That's why you read. Read first. Okay, let's get it right this thing. We don't want to go to Tawahi, we want to go to Tawahi. There we go. Okay. Let's get going. And up another set of stairs. And this one. Hello. Oh, are you Chronicler? Of course you may pass. Oh, nice. They know my name. I'm glad. Last time I didn't get nearly as much recognition. Lava. Totally safe. Hey there. Okay, I'm going to die. Hey there. It's so cold. Why do the go guards live here? Get you, man. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cold. Honestly. Hey there. Hey, it's our friend, um. Hey, hello? Hey. Uh, hello. Uh, what are you doing? I'm on a train. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> Not much of a talker. Popcorns. <laughs> Good and gravy. Hello. Oh. Hey. Thank you. The tour. We are in a time of prosperity. Kokorn love the cold. You guys sure do. Honestly. Ah, uh, here we go. Hall of Records or something like that. Let's go talk to Nuju. Hey, Nuju. Hello, hello, hello. Come on, take take this. Le just take. You can read letters. Just take it. No, this is not. No, no, no. Just because you speak in a click language does not mean that you can't read this. Take it. Well, he's, he's being unresponsive. Anyway. I guess we're going to have to find Matoru, his translator. I don't know. Oh, well. 
Hello, welcome to our to the sanctum. You may join us in our meditation if you wish. Nuju honors all wise mentor that they may join in the seeking. Well, that's awesome. If you wish to speak with Arturaga, you must wait for Matora to return. He's the only one who can translate Nuju's wisdom. Is there anything you wish to know? Where is Matoro? Like, where is he? Matoro is out hunting Rahi in the drifts again. It seems he will not rest until he has caught the mighty Mo Moaka. If you wish to find him, take this passageway to enter into the drifts. I gotta find a way out how to open those without you, man. What is a Moaka? The Moaka are one of the largest and most dangerous Rahi in modern world. They typically hunt and travel together in packs. Matoro believes that there is an Alpha Moaka that is the leader of the pack. But this has to has yet to be confirmed. Matoro once ran into one of them. He was out trapping in the drifts. Despite traveling alone due to being under the influence of infected masks, it was still too powerful Matoro to take on alone. It might have been the end of him if Kopaka had not appeared and rescued him. Yeah, I was kind of asleep during that whole thing. Most Matoro, uh, Matoran would take this as a sign to take the trapping back a notch. But it had the opposite effect on Matoro. Now he's obsessed with catching them. He spends most of his time out in the drifts building and thinking up new traps. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, what is the seeking? Writing up, written upon these walls are, are the great prophecies. To understand even a fraction of what they speak takes years of meditation and patient decryption. Uh, okay, cool. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go find Matoru. Honestly. Nuju can read, right? Can't we just hand it to him and he can deal with it? Oh well, here's Matoru. Out in the drifts again. <coughs> Greetings, Matoru. <coughs> Takua. What brings you all the way out here? I need to give Turaga Nuju What are you doing? Making a new Rahi trap. Oh right, I heard you were trying to trap Muaka. Have you found any yet? Take a look over the cliff. Wow, there's a whole pack down there. How do you plan on trapping them? Well, they are too large for snares. They can climb out of pitfalls. And tear through nets. In fact, the only way I've ever seen them trapped is by the mighty avalanche itself. An avalanche, huh? So it's pretty much the impossible. You may want this. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> that heat stone will become unstable. <laughs> um. Yup. You're not making an avalanche, are you? That's the plan, yes. See you at the bottom. Oh no! Woo! Woo! Game time. Awesome. I really love this. This is an awesome little avalanche game. Okay, let's get going. I wasn't it fortunate that uh, Matori just happened to have another, <laughs> another snowboard along with him. That would have been awkward if he hadn't. Okay, let's see how I do. Let's see how I do. Actually, if you play the uh, the version on the website, um, it doesn't have this game. Unfortunately, it just sort of ends off. Which is a shame. But if you actually go and download the game, it does have this version. Which is awesome. Wow, I'm doing actually really well. I haven't died yet. So the, the, what you want to do is keep up your speed, um, jump over obstacles, and you to keep going fast enough to outrun the avalanche. If you slow down enough, um, then the avalanche starts catching up and eventually it overcomes you and you can decide whether the tour can help you out again or keep going. Woo! Dang it. That was so difficult.
No, I'm slowing down. No! I can't even see now. No! Oh, the ammo's shot up. Help! Oh, my tour helped me out. Keep going. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's go to the bottom. Help. Keep going, yes. No. Okay, here comes the jump. Pretty epic. Nice. You should touch it with them. If you wish to speak with Raganuju, I will meet you back in time. Oh. Nice. Okay, well, we have a... Oh, dang it. We have a letter this time. Dang it. Just take... Come, come now. Okay, I have to speak to him. I will translate Nuji's words for you, Veronica. He asks if you come to warn us about what you saw beneath. Uh, what question do you wish to ask? Uh, he knows of my mission? What? Wait. Nuju says that many secrets will be revealed through meditation. Meditation. What? You have amassed knowledge and understanding through your travels. However, a deeper knowledge comes to those who throw off restlessness and seek tranquility of mind. So wait, he already knows my mission. So I don't need to give him the tablet. Ugh. Nuju says that the key to fighting any battle is understanding it. You must look past actions on the surface to discover what lies beneath. Motives, goals, and of course, weaknesses. The Borok are far different from anything you've ever faced. And should they surface, be sure to keep your mind open. No enemy is without a weakness. Now what will be done to prepare Kokoro? Nuju says that he will alert the Ko Matori, and that I, Matori, will play a vital role in the survival of Kokoro. Should disaster fall, something about a mighty foe turned I apologize, not even I understand Nuju's words in this regard. Okay, goodbye, I guess. Nuju wishes you safe travels. So I didn't even need the letter for him. Jeez! He already knew about it, because he, he can, like, see the future. So why did I even come here? Guess... Ugh. That's kind of cool. Oh, hey, Jolly. Takoo, I just got back from Kenyano. The guard is doing fine, and the entrance is shut tight. How did it, uh, delivering the letters go? I seem to get mixed responses. All of the villagers are preparing in their own way. However, Dragon Metal believes that I'm overthinking this. And I should just relax. Lake Car has always been more laid back. Well, I mean, you can't blame it. As they, th as thing, uh, they take things as things come. I don't worry about much. I'm sure the rest were more accepted of our, of our warning. Except the drug, you? I'm not exactly sure what he said. Most of what he says goes with my head as well. We should head back to Takura and report to Vakama. Great. But I think we should take a stop along the way. We should check the exit you used to get through the rock layer. 
And let's head to the beach near Takoru. Okay. Let's get out of here. Jeez. Maybe I should just... Maybe I am overthinking this. Maybe I should just lay back and... Don't worry about it. Maybe the corns are right. You know. Nothing bad will happen to Lee Cor or anything. Ah. They're in a tree. How could how could the Borok affect them? Woo. Okay, that was short. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, we don't want to go in there. Whew. Hmm. Well, this is it. So, this open. Yeah, it, it literally spat me out. <laughs> Get it? Spat out. It's, it's a mouth. I got it. So, you need to work on your sense of humor. And you, my friend, need to work on your jokes. Touche. Anyways, this seems to be sealed up tight. That sounded like it came from Takoru. Boom. Okay. So that has been chapter one of the Borok uh, Swarms. We continued in part two, which is included. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. This That's been Chapter 1. Uh, brings us up all up to the point where the, the Borg Swarms start to invade the island of Mata Nui. So, we leave off with Troubles in Takoru. So this has been pretty awesome to play, I have to say. Really fun. Um, well, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will come back in Chapter 2 and continue to play. So until then, I will see you later, lads.